If elected, what would you do to help continue to promote job growth and grow Florida's economy? We have to look to aggressively cut regulations and taxes. Florida is a low tax state, but there are a lot of things that we could do better. We could cut our lease tax and we could look at some of these regulations that are being passed down from the feds and even from Tallahassee to do a better job of getting businesses in and making it the most favorable climate for them to stay. How would you improve Florida's health care situation? We have to push back on the layers and layers of regulation that drag down doctors and hospitals and providers and get in between the doctor-patient relationship. It's very difficult to become a doctor, it's very difficult to practice, and a large part of that is because of government involvement and we need to work to push that back. What challenges do you see in Florida's K-12 education system? And if elected, what would you do to address those challenges? The biggest thing that we can do is empower parents and teachers and students to make their choices outside of overreaching involvement. But we also have to have standards that we hold to and we enforce. And we have to give people choice when the situation that they have isn't working out for them.